using sort of broad based data, the number of cows out of 100 not going in calf in beef herds now, this is not dairy herds, is 17. It's important to manage body condition and body condition scoring. Um, you know, there are times when cows can afford to lose a bit of weight, fat cow, uh, not being an emaciated cow as such. If they're autumn calvers, you need a different pattern. You need to be starting out at around three, and, and you can, it's quite okay to go down with during the winter. There are things that cows need every day. One is water, which seems very obvious, and there's no scarcity to give it at the minute anyway. Protein is that you end up giving a cow poor quality silage, bit of hair or straw, to tr in the hope that it may have more kilos of fresh meat. So it's based on dry matter. Three kilos of hair or straw, a kilo of raw oats, half kilo of cyabine, and 50 to 80 grams of mineral. The, there would be some evidence of the iodine deficiency. And 59% of Irish herds are iodine deficient. And the most critical period is the first month before calving up to four months after calving. And as I said earlier on, iodine is one of those elements, unfortunately, that they don't store very well. Two days is about as much as you get out of it. So, and if you have high nitrogen in the grass, it also takes it out of the system. So the ideal scenario of fixing iodine is actually using it in the water. Now, you might have to drink the truck of water these days, but we, we all tend to go to the co-op and buy a pre calver but most pre calvers in the co-op will actually be designed around um, da dairy cows, particularly Holstein Friesian cows. And in a dry cow area, you'll put zero in there, but there's probably no harm in the world in having five or ten percent in there for beef cows, uh, because they won't have they won't be making eight gallons a day and they don't have the same switchover problem as dairy cows have. So uh, that's just a spec if you wanted to compare it to what you're buying or anything else to see is it adequate. Now, I, minerals wise, wise generally, I have a fairly simple philosophy on them. Now there's certain things here. Here are cattle that are fed in the evening. How many of them calves? 85% of the cattle that were fed in the evening calve between 6 a.m. in the morning and 6 p.m. in the evening. And 15% of calves during the night, if you like, are between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. as such. And the safest feeds to use are ones that break down slowly. Um, I, touch, I might touch on wheat later on, but wheat, for example, breaks down very rapidly. So you'd be more likely to get blows with wheat if you were feeding cattle heavy than you would with barley. And you'd be less likely again if you were feeding maize itself than either of those. Um, but if you had a pulp product and a cereal, along with maybe a soya uh, as a protein source, and maybe a bit of rapeseed or whatever, you know, two different ones again, that could give you. And you get a stoppage in growth. When you get a stoppage in the hoof, it makes it a lot softer, a lot more prone to bruising. So you, in the lamina here, you get, you get damage. The heat the can be caused by housing, poor ventilation, but it can also be caused by starchy foods. And obviously when you get to a certain stage of the year, it gets near enough impossible anyway. <laughs>